Hi everyone and welcome back for another one of my UE4 tutorials. This is the fourth part in our minimap tutorial series and in this part we're going to cover a few extra little uh, nuggets of uh, usefulness um, starting off with the zoom. Okay so last time we, were, we got this far uh, so we added uh, icons to the map for objectives and enemies Okay, um, so what we're going to do is make it so we can scroll the wheel up and down to change the zoom on the map so to do that um, we need to go into our player character okay because this is where the inputs are being recorded okay so you can either do it here or you can do it on the player controller if you've made another player controller but save time I've chucked it here so what you do is type in the event for will axis and what this event does it continually spits out a value based on the wheels movement so it'll be zero until you move it up or down if you move it up it'll be positive one if you move it down it'll be negative one and what we're going to do is we're going to use those values to control the zoom on our minimap so first thing we do is we're going to check to make sure we've actually moved the wheel now as i said if it's zero it means that we haven't moved it so we're going to come out of the axis value and do a not equal to float so it's not equal to zero and hook that up to a branch so this will only work if we've changed the wheel axis so basically if we've moved it so if we have moved it we're now going to do all our things so we're going to do a cast to third person game mode so this is the game mode for the game and we're going to hook in the get game mode node and uh, this will check to make sure that we're using the right game mode and allow us access the variables inside our game mode now previously we have made a HUD widget variable on the game mode and on the HUD widget that actually contains a minimap widget and the minimap widget contains the zoom so we're going to get the zoom out get zoom okay and what we're going to do is we're going to affect the zoom value with this axis value so from axis value we're going to drag out here and we're going to do a little reroute node and to tidy it up and move that out over here and with that we're going to multiply that by a, a, another float so we're going to do float times float and we're going to times it by negative 0.1 now the reason why I'm doing that is because this only spits out 1 or minus 1 or 0 but 1 or minus 1 we don't want 1 or minus 1 we basically want it to go up or down by a very small increment because zoom goes, is a measurement between 0 and 1 so if I didn't do this it will just max, maximize the zoom or minimize the zoom so 0.1 is, a, is, is the steps of the zoom so, so we'll have 10 steps basically the negative part is needed so that when we move the mouse well mouse wheel in it zooms in and when we move it back it zooms out um, if you don't do the negative it just does it does it the other way around which feels odd so then that's what the negative part does so with that times we are going to then add that onto the zoom so we're going to get a zoom and add on another float and add that to that okay so if it's negative it'll take away from zoom if it's positive it'll add the zoom and from there we're going to clamp it and clamp essentially takes this value and forces it between a min and a max value now we want to change this from zero and one because the extremes look odd and will often break the rendering so you just want to offset it a little bit so i'm going to go 0 0.3 here and i'm going to do 0 0.8 there okay and this is then going to go fed feedback into zoom so from this widget we're going to go set zoom now and plug that into the return value and finally hook up the cast to the set and click compile and that should be it so let's test that out and go back here click play 
and if I move the wheel, uh, the wheel in, it zooms in, move it out, down it moves out. Very easy, see? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so it changes the texture that's being shown. So currently this is showing just one material, one texture of this world. Now the reason why you may want to change it, it could be well for a variety of reasons, but uh, a common one that I see in games is when you enter a building, it will change to the map of the building, for example. Or if you go underneath a tunnel, it will change to the underneath the tunnel map. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And that involves a few more steps than the zoom does. Um, so we're going to need the minimap widget. Okay, so this widget we want. Go to the graph. And here we're going to uh, make a new function. Now the function we're going to do is make it so we change the texture. Now we've already got something like that in the construct. This get dynamic material and set material. This stuff does exactly what we needed it to do. But this time we need to make this part of a function instead. So I'm going to copy that and go to the functions and add a new function. And I'm going to change this to update map image. This is going to then paste what we just copied into it. And we need finally an input. So go down here, click on a plus, and the input we need is new map and this is going to be a texture 2d texture 2d and the new map can be plugged into the set texture parameter value so we can delete this one and hook it into there click compile and we'll close this we don't need that now the next bit is to make it so we've got uh code to trigger that function now as I said, you, it's up to you how you use this. I'm going to make a very simple trigger collision box uh, that will just change the map. So I've made this uh, basic actor for now, but it's up to you entirely. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out if you put your mind to it. But this basic trigger box, if I go to the box over here and choose overlap, begin, on, add on component, begin overlap, so when we overlap the box with the player character, which we need to test for, so we do cast to third person character and other actor to the object. So just check and make sure it's the player that's walked into this. And when they have walked into it, we want to um, set the map of the box to the map of the game. Now I've made a variable called map and assign a texture which I've made which is just the same texture but red outlined um, the texture is a texture 2d variable so you just make a new variable for that and we're going to set that now to that function so to call the function we need to go get a game mode so do get a game mode and then we're going to cast that to the game mode cast third person game mode out to there and then from there we get the HUD from the HUD we can get a minimap and then from the minimap we're going to call function update map image and plug that into like so and the new map we're going to plug into is this variable here and we done it as a variable but as you can see we could just choose one from the list but it's nice to put it as a variable, I guess. Close that. And I'm going to put that into the world now. Just put that there. Scale that up. And click play. So currently you can see it's all black outlined. But as soon as I walk through this box, it'll change. Okay. And if I want to change back, all I have to do is do the end overlap. So let's do that quickly. So it'll be almost the same. So we just do... Uh, Click on the box, end overlap, and we're going to do another cast. Uh, and all this is going to be exactly the same, so we just change this back and copy and paste this down. 
and do that and the map won't be this one it'll be the original one uh, so I'll do me map texture click compile and now when I play the game it's black it's red it's black okay and that picture could be absolutely anything you like it could be different sizes as well it shouldn't matter too much um, actually Mm, it may matter. <laughs> it may matter. Um, so, if, if in doubt, keep them the same size if you can. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's it. Um, if you have anything else you want to know about mini maps, um, we're going to do another part, one more part after this. Um, so keep an eye out for that one. But if you have any questions about mini maps, please let us know, and I'll see if I can do a video on it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials in Unreal 4. Um, I'm going to try and do some other videos in other software and other game engines as well in the future. So keep an eye out for those too.